Chelsea. Today I'm going to show how to make um, homemade vanilla pudding. And this is a starch-based gel. So the important factors in this recipe are going to be the cornstarch and heat, because heat is going to be required to gelatinize the starch so that it can thicken into a nice gel. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to take a bowl and we're going to whisk together a half cup sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, And this cornstarch is about 25% amylose and 75% amylopectin, which are the components of starch. And that will be important later um, when we talk about the amylose network that is formed to make the gel. And then the last thing I'm going to mix in is a fourth teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to whisk this together um, and get rid of the clumps of cornstarch just until it's nice and incorporated and everything is mixed in. So at that point, um, I have two cups of milk heating over on the stove. There's, the milk is scalding, so just to the point where it gets bubbles around the outer edge of the pan. And then I'm going to take my bowl of dry ingredients over, and I'm going to gradually whisk it in to the milk. And as you can see, some bubbles have started to form around the edge of the milk, so it's warm enough. And I'm just going to gradually whisk in this powder. Now I'm going to continue cooking and stirring this mixture until it gets thick enough so that um, the mixture coats the back of the spoon. Now this can take a few minutes. Uh, you want to cook it over medium high heat. It probably take about five minutes. So for the sake of time, I have this one that has been cooking for about five minutes and as you can see it has already started to thicken up. So what has happened at is at the starch gelatinization temperature, which is about 160 degrees, somewhere between 145 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, um, the starch begins to gelatinize. And this is because the hydrogen bonds break and water can absorb into the starch granule and the granule swells. And at the same time, the amylose is leached out into the pudding. And then that helps to thicken the pudding. So at this point, you can see that it's starting to coat the back of a spoon. So that's how you know that it is thick enough. And you can go ahead and take it off the heat. So I'm gonna take this pudding over off of the heat. And I'm gonna stir in one tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla, just until it's melted. Uh, the vanilla there is there for your vanilla flavoring. Now after I get this all mixed in, um, I'm going to pour it into some dishes that I can refrigerate. The refrigeration step is really important because during the cooling, the temperature is going to be lowered and those hydrogen bonds that were broken before can reform um, and the amylose with those hydrogen bonds will form a network of gel. So now that this is all mixed in, I'm just going to pour it into a glass container. and then I will put it in the refrigerator to cool. It takes about two hours to set up. So to show, I already have um, one that's been in the refrigerator chilling for several hours so that it's already firm. And I will show that to you. So if we look at it, you can see that it's a nice firm gel. If you touch it, it's kind of jelly. Um, you might notice um, a thin layer of skin on top with some water separation. This is um, retrogradation and senaresis. So retrogradation is where the starch molecules interact more with themselves in the water, so the water is squeezed out and released from the gel, and that's the senaresis, is the separation of the water. So if we go into this, you can see it's a nice soft set um, gel, kind of like yogurt. And maybe some of you have only ever made instant pudding, and you're wondering, why did we have to cook this? Well, we talked about the important thing was gelatinizing the starch. But how um, Jell-O makes it so you don't have to cook it is they use modified cornstarch. So this has been pre-gelatinized, so it was cooked and heated before, and then dehydrated and spray-dried into a powder that they put into the Jell-O. So because of that, all you have to do is whisk in cold water, and the starch is now cold water-soluble, 
So the pudding sets up within five minutes, which is, um, makes it convenient. And that modified cornstarch can also help prevent some of the retrogradation and scenaresis of the pudding. But now that you've seen um, homemade pudding, I think you'll really like the flavor and freshness of the pudding, and you'll probably just want to make your own pudding instead of using instant. And you now understand the science behind starch gelatinization.